Sashkal guys, good morning. Welcome back to another video. Myself, Manjot Diman, and today it's the 7th of June, Friday. And I hope everything is going on good. I hope Sare Chardi Kalan Shonge. So it is 8 30 in the morning, and I woke up in the morning, you know, mountains weather. It always gets uh, foggy, so sunrises are only for the lucky ones. <laughs> so we weren't lucky enough to witness the sunrise today morning, but we still have. Two more days hope we can see a good sunrise and it's 8 30 now i just showered and i was transferring some files to the ipad from the phone because phone storage was full so i'm just gonna go have breakfast now and they start the breakfast at 6 30 to i don't know what time it is so it's already 8 30 and let me go have breakfast fast and let me guys show you guys outside the area and the mountain view ahead so let's go guys yes yeah, so guys uh just we were sitting in the lobby and I was waiting for the Bola Bola guy to come and I think he's already come and we're gonna go to Rock Gardens today, he's calling me we're gonna go to Rock Garden right now, it's 2.6 kilometers from here, it's gonna take 5 minutes I just called the Bola Bola guy because they're convenient, the bike and then they're cheap and then I can try, go around all the places soon and not waste time because we have today and tomorrow is gonna be fully busy and we won't be able to go anywhere so there's some places to go and I'll even explore the city center. So let's leave now and start our journey to Rock Garden which is just nearby. Morobur is a city located in the eastern part of Tanzania, approximately 196 kilometers west of Dar es Salaam. Morobur is also referred as Mji Kasoro Bahari which translates to a city short of ocean or port. Morobur is spread over a land area of 360 kilometers square with 4,58,000 people living in Morogoro and Morogoro is around 509 meters above sea level and this so guys we have come to a rock garden and there's entrance fees to get inside hello how are you fine how is everything how much is the entrance fees to get inside 5,000 for everyone for everyone okay you will you show me around or I walk myself? Yeah. Okay. See you. Okay. Yeah. So we have to give an entrance fees to get inside here. The entrance fees is a uh, five thousand shillings, and there was that guy he really wanted to come in the video, so I'm like, okay, bro, why not? We have a restaurant out here. The rock garden. I basically don't know any history about this, or it's just I don't know, but I can hear water streams around everywhere. And let me just follow the path and not use my own own knowledge to go here and there. So I can hear a water stream and uh, just got the right side down. It's really really rocky for sure. There's places here for you guys to have lunch or something because there's a restaurant right there and. I have to go down there, you guys can see the water. Morogoro is a really, really, really nice place. A really beautiful place. It's really, the weather is cold. It's not that cold, but it's really nice, mild weather. There's a kids' play area uh, that side, you guys can see. I'm just walking down. You guys can see mountains on all sides of Morogoro. And really beautiful mountains. How are you? Vipi? Asante. Chini. Eh? Left hand house here. Chini na? Nanda pale ho? When you guide? Eh. Sawa. Ah, sawa. So as you guys can see, this all water comes from the top of Morogoro mountain and uh, right now the water flow is really low and then in the morning it's really fast and really really quick uh, and it's till the 
trunk of the tree so right now as it gets noon and evening it gets low then it speeds up in the morning again So guys we are at rock garden right now and let me tell you some bits about it so the guy tells me it was built around in 1911 so it's really old more than 100 years old and then this water comes from the top of the Borogoro mountains from the water stream through Choma waterfalls and it passes through here and then it goes down to the city and you can even drink this water because it's natural water from the water reserve so you can have the water you can drink it and uh, it's so old, it's like... Alright, so guys, well, I'm standing on a stone right now, as you guys can see. He came jumping from the tree. Look at, look at the guy. And... I have taken really nice pictures, I hope they are nice, you can go check my Instagram, my photography account and my private account, I will keep them on the description, I will keep the ideas right down here, so it's a really nice place, you guys can see the water flowing, you guys can see the water stream, it's really clean and drinkable water, really clean and drinkable, if I will show you guys, you can see how clean the water is, so clean. So. I'll be heading to probably Lake, De uh, not Lake Daluti, Lake Daluti is in Arusha, sorry. I'll be heading to Mindu Dam right now, so it's around 7 kilometers from here. I'm gonna leave from here and we'll go to Mindu Dam right now and go follow on Instagram and follow, subscribe to the channel Let's Hit 2000 subscribers soon. There's many more upcoming good trips on the way. I really don't know, there's many people from school here. You can see one guy sitting here, then there's students there, there's here. I don't know why. And many students. So let's hike back from here. No hike back, let's walk back from here. And we go over to journey ahead. Hard going from here. If you slip here or there, you're gonna fall bad. You have to need a lot of grip. So let me go there once. it's really hard to come back from there you need a lot of strength in your legs this lady went down there and this guy is going to help her now she just jumped out of nowhere okay now let's head to lake i'm saying lake daluti again i don't know why am i saying it because i wanted to visit in arusha and i couldn't now we are gonna go arusha soon and we're gonna go to lake daluti also so we're gonna go to Mindu Dam now. So let's head to Mindu Dam. You can see many bamboos in here. There's bamboos, there's other trees. I don't know which trees these are, but I know that these are bamboos. Bamboos have a lot of water in them. Agriculture related industries make up the bulk of the region's economy. Morogo region is also Tanzania's cocoa capital, with 20% of farmers there growing cocoa. Over 70,000 tons of cocoa beans are produced in Tanzania with the majority coming from Morogoro region. Most of the people in Morogoro are dependent on farming, agriculture, uh, fishing. The major water source of Morogoro is Mindu Dam located in Ruvu catchment in between Vami and Ruvu basin and uh, Mindu Dam was designed and built between 1978 and 1985 and it was officially opened in on 9th of May 1985. The dam is 1.5 kilometers long 
and 11 meters high from the bottom. The mountains which you can see beside me, around me, are Uluguru Mountains, which are also known as the Moruguru Mountains. And the vegetation of Moruguru region you can find are tropical almond, pigeon pea, golden dew drops, garden carton, sesame cassia, and even cocoa beans, as it is the highest produced crop in Moruguru region. कहानी सुनो जुबानी सुनो मुझे प्यार हुआ था इकरार हुआ था कहानी सुनो जुबानी सुनो मुझे प्यार हुआ था इकरार हुआ था Yeah, so guys, we are at Mindu Dam right now, and if you guys have seen my past videos, we have come here with the car. But then the road is quite. Before it was a good road. Now it's quite little bit. There's no path on the road right now. Like there's uh, leaves fallen a lot. So you guys can check out the view, Mindu Dam, and this is the Morogoro Mountains, from which the water streams come down, and. Uh, it has uh, the top peak. You can hike on the top till there, and then the morning hike and the uh, sunset hike. And this is a water storage dam, which produces water to half of the Morogoro city, and half of the water comes from the waterfalls, which is Choma waterfalls, which is a, which is a natural water stream which comes from in between the mountains. And you guys can see those white white these things. The guy, there was a guy doing fishing there. I just saw him right now with the boat. He disappeared. I don't know where did he go. And you guys can see the views on all sides. It's a big water reserve. You can see. But it is said that this water is a bit chemical because it's stagnant water and they keep chemicals in it, so the mosquitoes don't stay calm on the water and doesn't get effective affected sorry so the the government keeps chemicals in it to preserve the water but the water which comes on from the top of the mountains it's completely natural and drinkable even this water is drinkable but it is it has chemicals in it which to preserve it and the water is clear you guys can see the stones from here which is really nice i really like these things about africa they preserve their wildlife a lot which is really nice you guys can see the clouds come on top of the mountain imagine you guys standing on top of the mountain with the clouds under you it's going to be so nice so this is mindu dam it is kind of 8 kilometers from the city center and it's kind of 8 kilometers from the city center which you can hire a boda boda or you can hire whatever you are in you can come here you can keep the location of mindu dam you want to come and relax it's a really nice place a lot of people don't come here because people don't know about it but it's a really nice peaceful place there's cold winds around you can even come keep your mat down here and have lunch or something you can relax here for a while so that's it for the mindu dam
प्यार हुआ था मुझे प्यार हुआ था प्यार हुआ था प्यार हुआ था प्यार हुआ था So guys, we'll leave from uh, here, and if you guys see on the left side, basically on the right side, so this is like, like just forest area. There's nothing around here, completely nothing. So I'll just head to head to some cafe right now. It's nine point seven kilometers from here, and it's almost two fourteen. That's why I don't feel like eating something, so I'm just gonna go grab some, uh, something to drink, or I can see something light to eat. So we'll go there and then we'll continue to the next places where we wanna go. Guys, I came around this cafe which was around here called Coffee Me, and uh, so I just came here to have some thing for lunch and something to drink. So I just ordered bread sandwich, cheese, and uh, something to drink. So after this, we'll see in the video ahead. So it's a really nice cafe. We have uh, all foods, Indian foods also there, vegetarian and desserts and everything's there. So I hope you guys like this video. If you guys like this, do drop a like. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram. Uh, both of my accounts, photography account and private account. Don't forget to follow them. And don't forget to like, share, comment on the video, and don't forget to subscribe. See you guys in the next video.